Is this gone? Yes, yeah, so it is. Okay, sweet. So, oh, dude, the battery's about to die, too. That's such a bummer. Hey, yo, we out here along with Crave. Love this store. Yo, what's up, Miami Peace? I'm back. What's up? If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so you don't miss out on cool new content. Right now, I'm at my second home away from home. Well, not this home, because they moved, but the last home was my second home away from home. This is like this is like a friend that I don't know is home, you know? A friend, an acquaintance. But it's along with Clay, none the least. It's amazing. They used to come out all the time and play, dudes. They got some crazy stuff, dude. These are like the electric guitars. I don't know if I'm, I want to put this on the main channel or the, or, or the guitar channel, but these are for like, these are more so for like metal stuff. You can use this for jazz and country if you want, but it's not really designed for it. Okay, this is in the last store. I would always like go in the uh, Fender room, and I don't know, it's because the noobs touching all the guitars and whatnot, pulling the expensive guitars down, but all the guitars over here. So, there's no more playing in the small room. But I can still admire them. Okay, this isn't my section. I respect Gibson, but Fender's where it's at. So, like, I swear to you, it used to be like a room, like, right over here in this acoustic room, but it was a lot smaller. And I'd be in here, like, almost every day for, like, hours and hours, just playing. I could have been annoying, but whatever. <laughs> it was fun. That shit was fun. I got my first guitar here too. It was used. It was it was actually a go in. It was one of these. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be one of these, but it was a standard American standard. I think got like fourteen hundred used. It was a really great guitar. I was so happy about that. So happy to get my first Fender. I, I I always wanted one. My first guitar was a go in. I sold that here, but my first one was a go in with like EMG pickup. Uh, it, it was really nice. It had like a really nice bassy sound for like metal. Uh, it was really good for metal, but I I really loved it for jazz because because of the nice warm bassy sound. Oh, yeah. Th this is the company. I believe this, yeah, this is Godin, yeah. This isn't the same Godin, but if you're wondering about the company, this is what it is. They look like, they're kind of copying Fender's design a little bit. I think it's kind of cringe, but it is what it is. Like, they should probably just stick to their own, like, style. I, I like how they design their own guitars, but uh, I guess this, this is the way uh, the, the, the guitar industry is going, and Fender, is, Fender and Gibson are leading, so I guess it makes sense for them to try and hop on board. Oh, what's up, bro? I'm trying to figure out how you keep on this. Is this plugged into like a speaker? It's plugged into the trainer? Yeah. Trainer one? Speaker at the app right there, yeah. No, speaker right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What keyboard is this? It's a Hammond? Dope. Never heard of this. It's got a lot of knobs on this. Kind of reminds me of an organ a little bit. This is supposed to... Yeah, this is like an organ now. Oh, cool. This kind of gave it away, this stuff right here. Yo, did I tell you my band used to have like an, a, an organ? Like we, we got it from this like old folks home. They were throwing it out. Uh, Daniel had like a connect. Yeah, dude. So he That's called me sick. down. We put it in his truck. It was crazy. It was this heavy like big organ. organ it was? No, but it, but, no, but it, it, it was crazy. It was like, uh, it was really big. We took, it, it took us a while to like take it out and put it in the truck. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was sick. It was sick. I don't think he has it now. I don't think anybody has it now. I think, <laughs> I think it's been thrown out. This looks dope. This looks like it. This looks really cool. I just like the look of it. Like the, the keys feel nice too. But there's something about like these. Like if we could get, it, it, it would kind of be stupid, but if they could put like these kind of keys on those small like Wait. small beat pads, that yeah, would be yeah. really cool. But I think it would cost up significantly a lot, like a lot they more. Probably have something like that out there, but I think you're right. It's like, probably expensive. Yeah, the, these this this kind of feel on uh, something like this. But I think this would change from 129 to like maybe 200 bucks or something. Oh yeah, of course. Where's my in the studio set? Yo, how many of you are musicians actually? And if you are, like, what kind of studio setup do you have? Basic or professional? It doesn't really matter. These keyboards are looking. Fine. So we got what is this one, Roland? first baby my grandma got me a piano actually and i was like what seven but then i saw the guitar and i fell in love with it yeah that's sick. yeah dude. this sounds amazing that sounds really cool it's clean okay so 
I want to I want to show you guys the acoustic room. It's just there's a lot of people in there. And I don't want to like, film anybody that doesn't want to get filmed. So gotta wait a little bit. If we get it today, we get it today. If not, we don't. We're out in the speaker section right now. Rich is Rich is about to show us a beat that he made for somebody. Better not be shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could grab someone who might know a little bit more than I do about this. Um, no worries, no worries. Yeah, Thank like, you for your help. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm really thinking about going on that, into that because I think I'm gonna go in there. And like, uh, like I'm itching, like, uh, like I'm itching. I'm itching like a druggy dude. No, I'm like, I need to go into that room. Okay, technical difficulties. I want to cut it here because the battery's about <laughs> to die. <laughs> so we we cutting out here. <laughs> this. By far is the best room in this whole entire place, in my opinion. Yeah. You hear the sounds? It sounds amazing. These acoustics. Uh, I ain't I ain't feeling all these acoustics, but it's the acoustic room. So I feel I feel some of these semi, but the rest is like a hundred percent. Like this side, some of these guitars I think are all I think some of these guitars are Denver. Epiphone, you know, gotta give respect to Epiphone. Epiphone's doing her thing out here. Yeah, but still. <laughs> got some 12 strings and shit. Uh -huh. Yamaha, now we're starting to move here. Simon, Simon Patrick. Great guitar. It gets better the more and more you move out. We gotta check this out right now. Oh, Tacomine? It's the company I have. But, although, I do want... What you call it? I do want a Taylor. Like, these guitars right here? Beautiful. They sound awesome. The one that I have is the G Series. It's a smaller body. Fenders, these fenders, I think, like, I'll probably come back here on a later date to like record just so you guys can hear all, all these guitars. Not all of them, I won't be able to do all of them. But you'll be able to hear some of them, like these. This fender right here. I don't know why they do this with the shape. This is so disgusting. With like the head like that. This looks so disgusting, man. But they sound nice. No. Okay. This is the guitar. This is the guitar that I want to get. Not any one in particular, but the brand. This is like the Fender and Gibson of the acoustic world. In my personal opinion, I think that they sound amazing. They're kind of pricey, but you pay you pay for quality. You straight up pay for quality, man. This one is three thousand. This one is is seventeen hundred. This one is five thousand. I've played this one before. We're gonna have a, have a video here and try try and pick out the differences between the five thousand dollar one. The seventeen hundred dollar one and the three thousand dollar one. Oh, the camera's just about to die too. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it there. Next time, I'll be in here and I'll show you guys what these sound like. Now, I'll probably play the same tune so you guys can try and pick out the sound a lot more. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Love the sound. Hit that like button. It really does a lot for the page, and thank you so much for watching this Mopo Plays out. Peace. Bye. Just a friendly, friendly reminder. If you want to learn how to play guitar, if you want to check out my guitar page, if you like hearing cool guitar stuff, if, if you go to my page right down there below, you should see Mopo Plays Guitar Fun. Check it out. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys have given me over, over the last two years. I really do appreciate it. And from here, we are only going up. Thank you.